So I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is um, before, actually before I start, I'm gonna repeat the colors. We did a sap green and burnt umber for the background, just to get rid of the black gesso. And it's really dark, so it's fine. Um, now I have cerulean blue and uh, ultramarine violet and white. So I'm going to take a um, mixing both of them, a, you know, a bit, but with a white brush. This is number eight, and I'm going to take white. My colors are watery, so it's like a glaze right now. What I want to do is um, actually kind of start with the dark in the back right here. Um, yeah, that's good. Now try not to mix your colors too much so you can see some of the blue and purple. Gonna dry darker. And I'm just trying to look at the reference. So if I see more, more blue in here, um, or purple in there, I would increase the amount of purple. But for now, let's just put both colors without worrying about the actual, um, what we're seeing as far as color. Just, just, we need depth. This is white because this is, a, a lot of white is going to be applied to this after. So we need, to, we need some depth. Trying to go with the movement of the feathers. Add a tiny bit more white right now. The tail doesn't need too much. Uh, it doesn't need to be too dark. I'm using more of the purple and white for the tail. Now I'm gonna go back to some, to the blue and add white because the left side of the, the left side of the uh, swan is not as dark. There's light hitting this part. Now, Let's take a bit of more ultramarine violet. Same, I'm gonna take more ultramarine violet in here. Less, actually better, you know, if we don't use any blue just ultramarine violet and white and put it here because eventually what we're going to use is um, Naples yellow. And if there's a lot of blue in here with Naples yellow, it's gonna turn green. So yellow and purple are better as a mixture because purple is going to tone down the yellow and make it more earthy.
This is ultramarine violet and white. And I'm softening the dark black lines that I left as a uh, guideline for me um, by putting the glaze over them. There. Good. So I'm adding a bit of... Um, I, I added a bit of Naples yellow here. I have Naples yellow now. So I'm using white, uh, a bit of ultramarine violet, and a touch of Naples yellow. And it's really like a light color right now. It's not white. It's just lighter. I'm going to use a bit of more touch of more uh, purple in here. Again, I'm going, I am highlighting the tail, but I'm highlighting slowly. So I really don't want a white color right now. I just want to get into, see that's, that's quite white, like that's white. And with a brown brush, I'm going to do, and later on, you'll see, you'll see I'm, I am, I, although I'm doing this right now, and I'm using um, a bit of uh, ultramarine violet and Naples yellow and white, but eventually after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and glaze the blue on, very light uh, glaze over it with a bit of blue or, you know, the colors that I'm seeing in there. But for now, just doing the round brush. You think why we're doing this, why we didn't do it before, because you can see, you can still see the color underneath and that gives you depth. Otherwise it'll be flat. This is really not white. It's showing white on the monitor. It's not that white. It's toned down. It's a toned down kind of. Uh, uh, grayish. Yellow, but it, it, it not really yellow, yellow off white. I'm going to come here. with my brush. When you highlight quickly, this is when you get into kind of, you know, um, problems you get because you're highlighting too quick too quick you should highlight slowly layers uh, my color is more of a, kind of a glaze because this way when i glaze i can see the underneath i can still see the color underneath and i can add my highlight slowly um, white takes over if it's too strong Thank you. 
So we see here, there's, it's a highlighted area, but there's a hint of blue. So if you're not, your color is not too thick, it's more like a glaze, the hint of blue will show. It will be there. I'm going to come back to cerulean, put it in here, in that same mixture, touch white, add white. And a bit of ultramarine, uh, ultramarine violet. Wipe my brush. I'm just adding this highlight where the where I can see the strong light is. Not too much blue on this then, this bit. Not too much blue, no. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're still kind of, it, it, it's, it's really, we're highlighting, we're softening the color. We're not really highlighting. Mm So for this part, I'm adding white and a touch of uh, ultramarine violet in here. And I'm going to go back and add more white to my mixture of light blue and ultramarine violet. Come here. They're so beautiful, those swans. Mm -hmm. Okay, a bit of more water. Oh, my brush is drying. I'm 
I'm doing more like a dabbing for now, a dabbing technique for now, just because um, I'm glazing and I don't want flat. I want texture. I want a texture of the fur. Has anyone been to the Swan Parade? The Swan what? Parade. Parade. Um, in Stratford, Ontario, where they have the swans on the Avon River. Can I call you later? I'm in class. Oh, wonderful. Where is that? Okay, where's that again? Stratford. Ah, Stratford. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So they have the, the swans on the Avon River. But in the mm -hmm. winter, winter time, they're put into pens for the winter. And then in the fall, in the spring, they sort of just put them back out on the river. They do a swan parade. So they, they go down Main Street, Stratford. And they they waddle down to the river, oh. and it's a big thing. Like people walk around with these swan hats on, and oh my god, that's so and, cute! Uh, yeah, it's so cute. I've always wanted to go to that and never gotten around to doing it. I've heard about that? Kind of cool. To fix this uh, loss of shadow uh, in here, I'm going to go back to um, cerulean blue, put some white in it. It's a light, light blue. And I'm going to try to come here and see. Yep, it's a light blue. I can increase the amount a bit. And I'm using a round, small round brush. So I can control the detail. And I'm going to come here. Um, and a bit right there. Now, I'm going to take ultramarine violet, put it in that mixture. It's a light, light mixture of ultramarine violet and uh, blue. And now I see more ultramarine violet in my color. I'm trying not to lose the highlight completely. Just softly spread, making sure that you leave some, some of that uh, white showing through. That's good. Now this area here, right, this little kind of triangle or area in here, um, I'm going to use, again, push some of the cerulean blue into the same mixture. It This mixture has cerulean blue, a bit of ultramarine violet and white, and I'm putting a bit more cerulean blue in there. And with the same brush, I'm gonna come here and try to push my color out. Okay, 
I need a bit more cerulean blue, maybe. I'm putting touch of ultramarine violet in my cerulean blue touch just because the uh, I'm finding cerulean cerulean blue is uh, a bit too um, strong just to tone it down. I'm toning it down with um, ultramarine violet. Take white, put in white right now in the same mixture. And I'm gonna come here. Very careful how I'm using my white. All right, now I'm gonna come over to this part right here. Again, cerulean blue, white, and a touch of ultramarine violet. I'm adding a bit of more white. Now, ultramarine violet, white. Because this is really soft. It's a soft uh, purple color in here. I'm adding a bit more, I'm trying to adjust my ultramarine violet and white. Um, it, I don't want it to be too white, but it should be a very soft ultramarine violet. More like a really pastel in here. Okay. 
I'm going back to a bit of blue. It's amazing. I, I don't know if this is kind of because of the, um, you know, like photography, um, or is it kind of, can you see these colors on those swans? Um, just very interesting. In one little spot, you have so many different levels of values and different colors. I'm highlighting this area here with more white in there. It's like a flower. If you look at it carefully, you'll see it. Um, it's a it's beautiful kind of layering of the um, um, feathers. Raw umber and cerulean blue and white. So I mix these three together and I have a kind of a, it's gonna be a, a dark color, but that's okay. That's what we need for now. And I'm gonna darken this area a bit because it's, it's darker there. And I can adjust the color a bit later on. You might see a bit of green, that's okay. And I think that's um, as well, there's a hint of, I'm gonna add a bit of uh, ultramarine violet in here. A reflection from the, uh, from the water, water is green. I added a bit of ultramarine violet over this. They even, you know, when you get there, if you have your mask on, they want you to put a um, um, surgical one, you know, the, they give you one if you don't have it. So if you have your own mask, which is like fabric, they ask you to remove it and use their masks. Quite a few places have been doing that, I find. Pardon? Quite a few places have been doing that, I find, especially if they're government type facilities. Oh, I didn't know why. I didn't ask. I just said, okay. I just. Yeah, I think they're just being cautious, extra cautious. Just to make sure it's, it, you know, the, the mask is like working, right? Yeah, but you haven't been wearing the same one for 15 days or something. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Which is probably me. <laughs> yeah, me too. I don't. Uh... I wash it, but I mean. Yeah, you know. I wash it, but sometimes I don't. I just, but I sanitize my hands before I touch it. Yeah. I had an appointment last week down at the hospital and I had a brand new mask on. And when I went through, they, they, they gave me 
I had to put a different one on. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it pays to not go with one, then you get a free mask. <laughs> <laughs> I have some fabric masks that I bought when this all first started. And, and after a while, the elastic, it becomes not very nice. So I saved the reusable masks, and you know, uh, the non-reusable, you know, the ones that we throw away, the blue ones. And I, I keep the, the uh, elastic and you use it that if I have to. You keep the elastic and? From the blue, reuse, from the blue throwaway one that they give you and, and put, oh. use it on my, my own fabric mask. Oh, that's clever. Well, because you know, the mat, the fab, the elastic gets kind of yucky and stretched out and all that sort of thing. Now it's a yellow mask instead of a blue one. <laughs> yeah. 